And I can't wait for the next integrative assessment course. That's very, this is, you always bring something new. You just can't let, you can't allow me to be safe and feel good about myself that I know these tests, I know how to assess. You gotta just keep pushing it and pushing it and adding well, it. I don't want you to be bored. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
than when you start when something doesn't make sense you know with all the presentation the history and everything and this is a knee problem and i start testing the knee and it just doesn't seem to be a knee problem locally then we just let the assessment guide us and it guided me towards his hip now you mm-hmm. know i saw him one time and we'll see how it goes from there but That's it at least gave me a specific direction and alternative that made sense good. and it seemed to produce uh, a significant change pretty That's good. Right. And it goes back to the, you remember in the Sherlock Holmes novel, he said, when you've examined all the facts, no matter how incongruous, the final, you know, the, uh, when you put them all together, however incongruous it might seem, you have to accept that as yeah. the only solution and work yeah. off that hypothesis. And that is always the case. There are moments when you will be challenged um, your 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 expectations and what actually happens in clinic do not to go together, and yeah. you have to trust the clinical picture over and above your expectations. If you do not do that, you will get lost, and you will end up treating the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. The clinical picture is paramount. It is your evidence. It is the evidence that is presented by the body in the court and so you have to take that evidence and run with it and you can question it and re-examine it but you have to test it as is and i think that is very important Um, and it doesn't always make sense to us because we have a shallower understanding of how the body functions than the body does the body (laughs) so (laughs) we must respect the fact that not everything has a simple orthopedic relationship or a biomechanical relationship that we have complex neurological relationships that supersede the local obvious um, uh, observations we have. Um, I remember this patient telling me that when she taped her toes together, she felt her jaw, her masseters tighten. That is a clinical picture. You must respect that presentation. It doesn't mean you just take it and run with it. It means you investigate it. You, You palpate her jaw, you tape the toes together, <laughs> you palpate the jaw. Get the and hammer you, and the mallet out the and you start hammering. And exactly, record it <laughs> and see if you can find something that substantiates her observation. She may be wrong, but chances yeah. are she may be absolutely right. And you would be better off served knowing that there is such a relationship than ignoring it at your own peril. Right. So, yeah, so I think that is the magic of rehabilitation. That is the magic of assessment. And, uh, I, uh, you know, as I said, assessment is everything. everything. It, it is. I mean, it, it really is. It's it. I mean, and unfortunately, it's like you go to you go to chiropractic school or PT school and you are obsessed with techniques. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, you want to learn how to get the person better or get mm-hmm. them out of pain. And mm-hmm. generally, it is the technique that you believe is the thing that is primarily getting them out of pain. You get out of school and you have to learn even more techniques. You have to be certified in techniques because that is the it very it makes very much direct sense that the techniques are getting them out of pain. And, you know, you and I and you just said it the assessment is the primary part and but, but even it's not even that easy because it there's good assessments and there's crappy assessments so right. it, it, it's it's even harder it's you have to learn that it's not about the technique it's about the assessment yes. and then you have to learn how to distinguish or what we mean by a good quality assessment yes. versus a more superficial one yeah and it it just isn't easy it yeah, just is yeah, not easy If you enjoyed this conversation and want to hear more like it, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can also stay up to date on our latest seminars on our social media pages on Instagram and Facebook, at IMTR Seminars.